to today's session. So we continue looking at the 2021 Grade 12 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. So our question of interest today is question 18 and it leads in the diagram below A, B and C are points on the level ground. The bearing of B from A is 0, 32 degrees or 32 degrees angle A, C, B is equal to 100 degrees and angle A, C is equal to B, C. Find the bearing of A from C, then B, C from A and each has two marks. So we need to get those four marks. So let me just, just try to zoom in the shape so that we're able to see clearly as I answer this question. So what we notice, okay, so what we notice here is we are Finding the bearing of A from C. So we stand at C, then 10. How many degrees are we supposed to turn before to face A when we are at C? So C is, is at this point. Then we draw the north at C. This is north. So this is parallel to this one. So what we are being asked is to find these degrees we need to turn for last to face this C. Okay. So now... If, okay, if in this case, what you are looking for, these lines are parallel to each other. So these lines are parallel to each other. So what it means, we can find this angle. Once we know this angle here, then we can know the other angle. So if this is 100 degrees and these two sides are equal, this, so this is and equal to triangle so this angle and this angle are the same so what it means is we have let us call this angle x and this will be x so what it means is 2x which is x plus x plus 100 must is equal to 180 degrees then what it means is in this case 2x is equal to 180 minus 100 degrees so 2x is equal to basically 80 so x is equal to basically 40 by dividing by 40 both sides. So we divide by 2, by 2, sorry. So we get the 40. We divide by 2. So this angle is equal to basically 40. So we know what this angle is. It's 40. So if you know this angle is 40, then this angle is also a 40. So having known that angle, we can now easily solve the problem. So if these are north, they are parallel. So this angle... And this angle is the same. So this angle is basically equal to 32 plus 40, which is 72. So this is 72. So if we are to move from north all the way to face A from C, this is from here to here is 180. So it's 180 plus 72. So for A, it will be basically 180 plus 72 as the bearing which gives us basically 2, 3, 2 degrees. 2, 3, 2 degrees. Okay? Okay? That's A. Let us look for B. B, uh, C from B. C from B. So, if you come and stand at B here, at B and draw a north, that passage is there. Okay? So what you are saying is, how many degrees are you supposed to turn at B to face C? This degrees that we are being asked to find. So how many degrees are we supposed to turn? Okay. So for us to know that, we need to know this angle. You've seen this angle here? This angle. This angle is equal to this angle because these two are parallel lines. Okay. So these. So we can find that angle, we can easily find this angle because we know from here to here, you see, what we found to 232 up to this line, then we know this angle is 100. So basically, to find this angle, it will just be 232 plus 100 plus this angle, which are, which are calling Y, must equal to 360, should be complete circle. So we have 3. 3, 2 plus y is equal to 360. Okay? To 360. So we solve for y. So y is equal to basically 360 minus 332. 
so we have one which is eight then here five five minus two we have so we have 28 so what we know is this angle this angle is 28 so now if this angle is 28 what it means is from here to here we take out and this angle is also 28 so from 180 we take out uh 28 so from 180 we are taking out uh, basically 28 so it becomes basically 180 minus 28 to get what remains there so we end up with basically uh 10 minus 8 is a 2 so about 7 we have 7 there so 7 minus 2 we have basically uh a 5 so it's 152 so the bearing of of uh c from b is 152 so we need to turn 152 degrees for us to face the, the direction of c when we are at b okay so this is basically how we answer question 18. so let us move to question 19. so 19 the function f and g are defined by f of x is equal to x minus 3 over 4 and g of x is equal to 2x plus 1 find the f inverse so find the f inverse so let me start with f so if f basically so f is given by x minus 3 over 4 so when you're finding inverse the first thing that you do is whatever there is f put y let f equal to y so y is equal to x minus 3 over 4 then in this case solve for x so solve for x so we cross multiply 4 times y we have 4y is equal to x minus 3 okay x minus 3 then what it means is now 4y minus plus 3 is equal to x once this crosses the equal sign so what we end up with is basically x is equal to a uh, basically 4y plus 3 4y plus 3 once we do that so once we do that the next thing that we do is now whatever there is x we replace with f uh inverse then whatever there is y in this function we replace it with x so 4x plus 3 then after doing that we would have found the inverse of the original f of x function so that's part a let's go to part b so part b say find f of g so f of g of x what it means is in f function in this f function whatever there is x put g of x function that's what it means so we have basically where there is x we are going to put 2x plus 1 this in bracket then minus 3 over 4 then we have 2x plus 1 minus 3 over 4 then we have basically 2x minus 2 over 4 then we factor out 2 so we have 2 over 2x minus 1 over 4 which is basically equal to uh, uh basically x minus 1 over 2 so we divide by two both sides 2 here and 2 here like that so this is our f of g function f of g function then we are asked to find f of g of negative 3 so f of g when x is equal to negative 3 what it is is we are going to have negative 3 minus 1 over 2 so we're going to have negative 4 over 2 which is basically negative 2 as our answer so basically this is how you answer question 19 to get the 4 max